Hi, I'm Dave Schiffer with the Champaign Aviation Museum. I'm one of our B-25 pilots that uh, flies this to air shows and airport events. We're going to be talking about how we manually extend the flaps in an emergency on the B-25 Mitchell. And as always, please uh, become a subscriber to the Champaign Aviation Museum YouTube channel. Okay. In the B-25, the flaps are um, they're moved with the hydraulic system. So if we would lose hydraulic pressure, we're in a battle or some fighters come after us, this would be during World War II, and the bullet pierces the uh, hydraulic, uh, hydraulic line somewhere or takes out our hydraulic uh, motors um, or hydraulic pumps, um, the hydraulic system loses pressure and we can't get the flaps down if we were going to land on a short uh, runway somewhere. So uh, we would have some crew member in the rear of the airplane operate a manual handle which cranks the flaps down uh, if the rear crew member isn't there or is, in, is uh, incapacitated in some way then uh, the co-pilot would have to climb back through the airplane uh, which you'll see me do here in a minute and would have to operate this flap handle now you might say do you really have to have the flaps and we can land this airplane uh, with no flaps in fact we train for that um, but there may be situations where you want the flaps, short fields, uh, especially if you have a crew member, if you have a crew member back there, they can operate the flaps for you. So you probably wouldn't have the co-pilot get out of the seat and climb all the way back there. But um, if you needed the flaps, this is what you would have to do. So I've moved back to uh, the area. This is right in front of the bomb bay. The uh, pilot seats are behind uh, the camera. I've moved to a position, these are some student seats uh, that we have uh, for, uh, or training seats that the Air Force used back in the 1950s. Um, but anyway, the bomb bay has a space here that you can climb over. So when we're in flight, the only way to get from the front to the back is over the top of the bomb bay. You'll see me uh, climb over the top here, and uh, on the other side is the manual crank for the flaps. This is the manual hand crank uh, piece. It's just clipped to the side of the uh, bulkhead right here and back behind the uh, bomb bay. And right at the end of the bomb bay, there's a hole. Uh, you pull up a little uh, metal uh, piece and this slides right in to the uh, crank. Here's the flap handle. And in here and you push it down in there so it's 